Okay, we got a young lady who was vacationing with her friends and girlfriend in Puerto Rico. She got in the water to help her friends and didn't make it out. Let's listen to the story. Well, right now, 1237, the search is on for a missing Indianapolis woman who went missing in Puerto Rico. It continues this afternoon. The Coast Guard tells us the 22 year old was swimming with two friends at the Condado Beach when they got caught in a strong rip current. The woman's friends were rescued and brought ashore by people nearby. This afternoon, the Coast Guard is still searching for the 22 year old woman. And we have new details tonight into a 22 year old Indy woman's death while vacationing in Puerto Rico. Marina Silva spoke with her family today. Uh, just heartbreaking. Marina, what did they tell you? Well, I was able to talk to the family of Simone Dawson today, and I just have to say hearing their voices, it's heartbreaking to know they were watching their cousin, their sister, their niece go on vacation and it turns out what happened. They said that she is someone that would do anything for anyone. Now, this is a very sad story indeed, and I hate to hear it. I hate to cover it, but this is why I covered it. I was scrolling my Facebook feed and I seen this post and that's what sent me down the wormhole because I would have, you know, knew nothing about it. I don't watch the news, nothing like that. So, you know, this is how I came to know about this. I seen this post. It said, this is Simone Dawson. She's the 22 year old Indianapolis woman who died in Puerto Rico this week during a trip with friends. Now on this post, you know, it's from like a news article or something, but in the comments, it's this lady who says she jumped in to help her friends who were struggling with the current. They got out, but not her. Her friends left Puerto Rico before her body was even found. Didn't even pay condolences to her family. So sad. Now this is not mentioned in the news articles. And no, I haven't found any articles that have, you know, supported this information, but I don't think they just pulled this one out the sky. I would, you know, definitely look into this. I just, you know, find it funny how not funny. So I just find it crazy how people keep going out of town with these. So, quote unquote, group friends, not even out of town, but out of the country with these friend groups that you know they're not really even cool with they don't even know each other and what makes this one worse is she had her girlfriend with her and she left something's not adding up so i'm gonna do a little bit more digging but i'm gonna go ahead and just you know play the article because this is a sad story and i want to bring awareness to this situation and if there's any truth to this you know facebook comment i would like you know you guys to enlighten me or if I find any more information, I will enlighten you. But let's go ahead and finish this story. 22-year-old Simone Dawson just moved to Indy to start a new chapter in her life. A life cut short, trying to save the person she loved. That's just the type of person she was. Dawson was on a beach off the coast of San Juan on Sunday. She went back in the water to help her girlfriend. A rip current took her under. Her girlfriend made it back to shore, but Dawson did not. Even if I was on that beach and Simone seeing her loved one struggling, I couldn't even get Simone not to go back into the water. She grew up very close with her cousins. They were some of the first to know what was going on, even though they weren't on the trip. I felt like sick to my stomach. I felt like so many words that I could have said. I felt like I couldn't breathe. I just kind of was like blank, um, nervous. Wondering, was she all right? Was she, like everything going to be okay? Her cousins say she loved to travel with Puerto Rico being a popular spot for Dawson. Every September we go to Puerto Rico. And like the last three years, we've probably been there five times. This trip was to celebrate a birthday. Now, while these cousins were not on the trip, they have fond memories of trips with Dawson. Like last July, we did Rolling Loud together in Miami. So we went to Miami. She met us there and we took a trip down there. This year we did Disney. Like we still, even though she moved away, we still did trips throughout the year and she met us. Now they're learning how to manage without their cousin and travel buddy. I feel like my family can never get a break. Like every time there's something and then we adapt to it, something else happens. So I don't think anyone was prepared for this. I once again want to say rest in peace. And the only question I have now is why don't we have the girlfriend's interview? Why don't we have the friend's interview? I want their word. I want to hear what happened from their mouth. 
I'm sorry that this happened and I'm sorry that the family had to go through this, but I want to hear from the people who were there. I want to, you know, I want to know what went on. And I hate that, you know, these crimes go down outside of the country and the U.S., you know, really doesn't do anything about it. But Puerto Rico, remember, is the United States territory. So this is not Mexico we're talking about. So if any foul play happened, the government will figure it out. Rest in peace to Simone Dawson. And that's how we're going to end it off.